and welcome to This Nitty Life. My name is Rachel and I'm coming to you from Leeds, West Yorkshire, where I live with my husband, my two children and my two dogs. Thank you very much for joining me today. This is episode 41 and uh, you can find me on Instagram as this underscore nitty underscore life and you can find me on Ravelry as reward and Thank you very much for coming back, those people who are coming back. We've had a few new subscribers lately, so um, I really appreciate you giving my podcast um, a little try. Um, it's looking very um, planty of late. Um, I went to Home Bargains quite a lot. Um, I've um, rebought a ring light because I still couldn't find my other one, but it feels like it might be in the wrong place. But um, never mind, it's fine. So yeah, thank you very much for joining me today. Um, I have got quite a little bit of a haul actually because we had a Yorkshire Yarn Fest recently. Um, a few bits and bobs to show you that I've cast on, some finished objects. So I guess we'll just dive on right in. Sort of, could I've done? Didn't really think this through with my top underneath, but this is my love note. So yeah, it's pretty short because it generally goes under my dungarees. Ooh, sorry. Um, yeah, love note. So this is obviously Tin Can Knits pattern. I think this is the small size. Um, there's quite a bit of um, ease in it, actually. Um, the yarn I used was uh, Molten Yarns, which I found on Etsy. It's new to me yarn company. That's the four ply. And the mohair was Botanical Yarns. Uh, which is Sophie, um, and they're both just a neon pink. Um, I think I used about one, one and a half, but because I was determined to do long sleeves, so look at them. So I wore it a couple times. I wore it to a uh, Yorkshire Yarn Fest the other day, actually, um, with black dungarees, which was probably a terrible idea. They were covered, they were covered in fluff. Um, I'd only just blocked it the day before, so it was also still a little bit damp. Um, apologies, I do have quite a soft throat and a little bit of a cough, so I will attempt not to cough. Um, where possible. I've got my water, which I've really not had a lot of today. Um, and now I think I'm going to sneeze. Oh no. Let's just wait to see if I do. That'll be fun, won't it? What do I do? What do I do? Anyway, right. I'm not going to sneeze. What I'm going to do is, um, this was my finished object. Um, so um, I've got something to show you as well. So this is another jumper that's nearly finished. So I lost this for the, um, these are Martha's clipping extensions. They're kind of randomly dotted around. I lost this for the longest time, this jumper. So this is um, Spin Raglan. This is by Andrea Maori. So this is a DK garment. So it's very much like um, her, um, the faded one. So faded, maybe that's the shawl. Anyway, it's very much like that in terms of it's got this garter bit here and then I'm kind of determined not to do long sleeves because I feel like that's all I've been doing lately um, and it is warming up. Um, yeah, so um, picked this up, got the body done um, and heading down the sleeves. Um, I need to go back and do a neckline. Ugh, why didn't I not do that first? Normally, like, I just do them before they even say it. Like with this one, I started with this um, and you're supposed to go back and add it. I just find, find it's easier, neater, etc. But this is um, Castleview Yarns. This is called The Void. Um, cute little stitch marker that is from Crafty Cat Nitty Bits, who she has loads of stitch markers, but I've got a recent supply of them. So yeah, look how gorgeous this is. I love like all of the, the pink pops and stuff. I'm hoping that you can see that quite well, even if I end up in shadow at some point. If you do it that way, then it's, yeah. Ugh. My technical director, Martha, is obviously at school today. She wasn't last time. Although they, we are strike, they are strikes again tomorrow and Thursday, but thankfully they don't affect my class, my kids. Um, they affect my classroom in the, um I started at school. I started doing my teacher training and my reception class is striking tomorrow. So I've asked if I can go into year one tomorrow. Like, I think there's one class in. So I'm hoping I can go into into year one to kind of get my hours in. Um, but yeah, both kids are in school, so that should be fine. Um, so yeah, that's my work in progress. So that is Spin, spin Raglan, and that is um, a DK garment. It's a really good go-to kind of basic garment, I guess um, you would say. Um, another finished object. I just went through my podcast and realized, I've not shown you this. 
So this is my Where Love Grows hat. It's super duper cute. Um, I think that was Beehive Yarns, the blue, Castle View being the red and the black is um, Cemetery Gates. I'm just trying to find a picture because I've knit another one um, for my niece. Um, I'm trying to find the picture because um, yeah, I'm keen to kind of get them out and get them on her. Um, I'll have to try and find it anyway. But um, obviously I had to go for some more subtle, subtle colours for them because they're, um, yeah, they have um, more subtle ones. I don't know if I can find it. Oh, but look, this is super cute. That's my baby girl. That cardigan is so super cute. It's called Sweet Bunting. Um, I did plan on making one. It's my niece's birthday in May and I do plan on making one of those. But look, look at my baby. She's 10 in September. Um, I realise this looks like I'm just looking at my phone, but I'm trying to find out um, which thread she sent me on. <laughs> anyway, right, so this is a DK hat. This is super, um, super easy to do. This light is making me sneeze. Can't find it. That's annoying. I'll try and put a picture up. There's one on Instagram. Anyway, yeah, this is super cute. Um, yeah, really like that pattern. I've actually started another one. So this is another one. So um, it's got, this is a Castle View beige. And um, I think that's Beehive. Is it the same? I think it's the same as this one. Yeah, and um, that's a beehive bottom, beehive bottom um, as well. So yeah, just early days with this one. It's my friend's birthday on Sunday. Um, and I'm hoping, yeah, I'm hoping to get one of those made for her. She really liked it. Um, it was my friend from college. She lives in Edinburgh. Um, so I don't see her very often. The last time I saw her was the last EYF, actually. Um, so ages, ages and ages and ages. Um, and she rang me today and... Do you not get when um, you don't speak to each other? Like, I don't ring anyone, basically. It's only Carly. I ring. I never ring my mum. Like, I can go ages without speaking to my mum. We text... Well, she texts me an awful lot. Um, we text a lot. Um, but it's only really Rob's mum that rings. Um, so she rang me today. I basically sent her a little... A little cheamy up something. And she rang me uh, to say thank you. Um, but yeah, I've literally not spoken to her since that EYF. So... If, well, if from 2023, COVID was three years, it'll be in four years. Insane. Why don't people ring each other anymore? Anyway, look, it's so beautiful. Speaking of beautiful. Oh, look at my nails. So these are by Oh My Gosh Nails. Um, Yeah, so the nail wraps, they're absolutely amazing. I'm really um, pleased with how these ones have gone on. Um, Theo's got some on as well, actually, Um, at the minute. The last quite a long time Martha's had some on for three weeks now um and I'm due to take them off but yeah totally love them super duper cool but they're basically fancy stickers sticky stickers on um is, is what that is um I can't find that picture of her I had one on my Instagram so I'll just find that but um I put my phone in airplane mode that's probably why right so I've got that whip um something else I've kind of picked up so I have this bag so you may recall I'm a fan of A Court of Thorn and Roses. So it's a fantasy book, which isn't normally... Oh, you don't live in there. Isn't normally my go-to, but um, Carly recommended it. So, you know, whatever she says goes. Um, if you don't know, Carly's my bestie. She's Falula um, on Instagram. She doesn't post anymore, but, you know, I try, but she's just not interested. <laughs> she's still knitting. Um, I occasionally post some of her pictures that she sends me just to prove she's alive. Anyway, this is ongoing. This has been on the needles forever. This is the spring court sweater and this is by Kristen. Not Kristen Stewart, that would be wrong. Tristan. Tristan. Dragonhorde Tristan. Yes. Um, this gorgeous, gorgeous green is a beehive green. This is Princess Rockstar, obviously, from Rainbow Heirloom, who I believe is about to go on maternity leave, so she's not going to be dying for a while. And the pink behind is um, a fine fish yarns, um, which is Terry. She's been popping up a little bit on Instagram. I'm not saying she's back dying again, but she's alive. So, yeah, I'm kind of not far off breaking for the sleeves, but um, as with quite a few of my cast-ons, this was knit um, 
pre-COVID. So size wise, um, I might just have to make it a little bit bigger. Um, but yeah, I did actually pick this up and I have been kind of actively, if not actively working on it, actively having it around me and thinking I want to work on it, um, if that makes any sense at all. Um, yeah, it's super duper, super duper pretty. But yeah, that would be basically being an ottoman in the bottom of uh, the bed for ages. And it is kind of um, nearly at the sleeve splitting, so it's nearly kind of doable um, in terms of just the body. Um, yeah, I don't know, what other, else, else have I got? I definitely knit, I've knit a couple more hats, which I can't seem to find. I knit the um, mountain mist hat. That's a good face, wasn't it? I knit the mountain mist hat, um, which is Tin Can Knits, um, Rob's, not Rob, Theo, my little boy. Um, his teacher went on maternity leave before the last half term. I've got a hair on my lip. Da -da -da. Um, when at the last half term, I gave her three, I did three hats for her and now his um, teaching assistant, his old teaching assistant, so he's not losing them both, um, his old teaching assistant is due to go on maternity leave um, at the end of this half term, which is like flying ahead. Um, so they break up on like the 31st of March. So yeah, um, flying along that is. Um, so yeah, I've got, she's having a little girl, so I've got some ready to give to her. Um, a friend has just had a boy a couple of weeks ago. Um, so I, I basically need to go through what I've got and post them out because there's one that was born at the beginning of December and I've still not posted anything out. And she's so terribly knitworthy, terribly, terribly knitworthy. Um, I can't even find the picture because my phone's on airplane mode. Basically, she tagged me in a picture and it was she's got three children, uh, two boys and a girl. It was girl, boy, boy. Um, and I made her daughter, who she was the first one, um, this little hat in like a maroony colour and basically she's had it on every baby so she's very knit worthy and I feel bad just pull your finger out and get them posted because this kid's getting only getting bigger he was born quite early but um well not born early as in he was well he was, he was a little bit early but you know he was tiny so now he's kind of like catching up um so I really need to to get a wriggle on with that um in terms of other things I'm knitting yeah I really want to finish that jumper the uh, spin raglan one. Uh, get this hat going for Emily. Um, like I said, it's my niece's birthday in May, middle of May. So um, I'd like to knit her maybe. Um, I was going to do. Um, sorry, it hurts like here. Ugh. I was going to do maybe her um, a baby vertebrae. Um, I'm pretty sure I did one when she was born. Might be able to see one there. But um, yeah, I might do her a baby vertebrae or one of those sweet bunting ones. Um, so yeah, I haven't, I feel like I haven't done a huge amount of knitting since the last one, but I guess I've knit, I'm sure this wasn't very far, was it? Sorry, I need some water. <coughs> I'm sure this wasn't very far when I last showed it. So I have, I finished a hat. I finished a child size hat in this same pattern. I've done two mountain mist hats and my jumper. So that's not too shabby, is it? Um... Yeah, I think that's maybe about it. Uh, yeah, not too bad, right? It's been about a month. But yeah, I totally love how bright this is. It's insane. I wore it today uh, to drop the kids off and out. For some stupid reason, I didn't take a coat. Um, and I'm very, very bright. Um, I'm normally very bright compared to most people in the playground, but this was quite, quite bright. Um, so I think generally I've got quite a lot of acquisitions now to show you because I did go to Yorkshire Yarn Fest. Um, I think first up I'm just going to show you my Spectrum Club. Um, so the Spectrum Club colourways, I can't remember if I showed January 1 or not, so I've just brought it down anyway. And then the February 1 came. Um, it, they came in quite quick succession because she was poorly, so um, they came in quite like only a couple of weeks apart really, so... So if you don't want to see, if you've not got it for whatever international reason, look away. So this is January's. So this is called Dreaming of Spring. So this is super duper gorgeous. This is Spectral Fiber, Briony, of course. And then February's colorway is called I Dream in Neon Pink. Ah, look at this. Totally love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's so good feel like um i have just changed it back on onto dk for march because um 
I've got a lot of decay, but I've got a lot of foreplay too. Um, I, I definitely had a foreplay kick for a long time, really. Um, I went through a, a big phase of, of um, knitting loads and loads of garments in foreplay. I've got lots, lots and lots. Um, I can't remember the name of that, that one now that I've got like four or five of. Falling out my head. Anyway, um, yeah, I've, I've really not knit one for a very long time. Um, so it would be nice to kind of have, I'm thinking like a one skein jobby. Um, there was a really nice sorrel um, at uh, Yorkshire Yarn Fest, um, which was, um, so the, basically the one I finished last week, the green, last week, last podcast, the green one with the uh, uh, little detail in here. Um, she'd done it in a solid colour and it was in this gorgeous um, ochre colour. Um, so like a yellowy colour, basically. Um, it was super gorgeous. Um, so I've got my eye on knitting one of those in DK, even though I've just finished one it took me years to make. But then everyone keeps on talking about four ply one. But um, I don't know, because I've not done it for so long. Like, have I got lazy with it? Um, I don't know. But yeah, this is February and this is January. Um, I asked when our pre-orders that I got for the advent are coming and she said hopefully by the end of March so hopefully they'll be here um in time for the next podcast um yeah so they're super super good right I'll try and move this bit over that was the chair right right I have shown these on Instagram but you know not everyone follows me on Instagram but I got this giant bag which look I've coloured in it's Yorkshire Yarn Fest bag. I'm going to add some more detail to that. But, um, <coughs> dear me. <coughs> I'm blaming my child for this. Martha's had a cough for like nearly three weeks. Um, and I've got this much sympathy left for her. She gets about half an hour sympathy a day as she gets in from school. And then after that, I just want her to go in the garden because it's just constant. It's just constant. And then um, there's only so much sympathy and patience I have. Um, <laughs> So right, let's kick off. This gorgeous bag is from, I think, the Woolly Tangle. I feel loves pandas, so I tend to get pandery things because he likes them. I'm ready for this. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is called Mini Neon. So they're quite narrow stripes. So I got this from All Wool That Ends Wool. If you're quite familiar with them. That's super gorgeous. Um, I also got a new needle. Higher Higher Sharps from one of the stalls, can't remember who, but Higher Higher Sharps one. I was watching um, Helen Giddy Yarns um, talk about an umbrella tone, an umbrella heel. So I did a bit of investigating and went to look at that pattern. I was like, oh, that sounds good. Turns out I already have it in the library. Um, but yeah, so I'm debating that for these. Um, she has started doing, I don't know her name, Always the End World Lady, this lady, has started doing 50 gram balls. Um, I often get the 100 ones and split them with my friend Gwen, but um, she didn't have any in 50 in this. And she's like, oh, well, if you come back on one of the next shows, which is uh, Spring Into Wool, which is at Leeds Grammar School, which is like 15 minutes away, um, then she said, if it's not sold at a previous show, it's not sold out online, then I'll split it for you. Um, so I was like, oh, okay then. And then I went back to take a picture of it to make sure I remembered which one it was. And I was like, oh, let's just get it. Let's just get it. So I got that. So yeah, I'm going to plan on making some socks. So that's hanging out in this beautiful bag. Oh yeah, it is the Woolly Tangle. The Woolly Tangle. Yeah, so um, Yorkshire Yarn Fest was, what, a couple of weeks ago now, week and a half. Um, so it was in a brand new location. So it was kind of in like a, what I would describe as a wedding location. Um, there was a big golf tournament on at the time. It was very pretty. The car park was quite busy because it was a golf tournament. But we got there kind of about half 11 quarter to 12 on a Sunday I couldn't couldn't make the Saturday because of Rob's stupid shifts um yeah but it was really pretty it was a really pretty building um it was in kind of separate rooms um you had to go up the stairs and there was like a big room with a big balcony which you couldn't get out on and that was quite a warm room but um yeah so there was loads of people up there so that was really nice and then there was another room next door and then like a big kind of what I guess described as a school hall downstairs. Um, we didn't eat there um, because it's quite a busy. There was like a, there was a bar, but there was a restaurant too. But you know, cost wise, uh, we were just 
we sat outside for a bit and just nibbled whatever we brought we brought with us so um it was really good got to meet up with some of our knit night knit night gang from the old the old days when we used to have a knit night anyway this is um looking super cute um yes what else what else indeed um got these little pom-poms so i watched uh, my new friend fran from franny do makes and she mentioned uh, these pom-poms which are by Trimits, Trimits at the top um so i've got a couple of fun colors um i get i normally get my pom-poms from the crafty bird which are like massive um i think these were two pound maybe 250 um which are massive um but i think they're just a bit too big for the kids heads like they do kind of pull back a bit and um kind of get messed around with at school and like i guess now i see i know it's different in key stage two but certainly in key stage one i see how much hats are just on the floor so i've got some of these beauties and um, they're from henny penny makes um i've got loads hang on what else that is not from there that's a fidget well lighty up fidget no less <coughs> excuse me oh speaking of giant pom-poms i got this one from woolly mama so yeah normally the crafty bird ones are a bit like this if not a bit bigger but that's from the um from woolly mama got this beauty from woolly mama so she does amazing neons this is a dk not quite sure what it's going to be. Maybe mitts or socks. I got that from her. Um, this is a new to me yarn person, which is called Quack. And this is super gorgeous black with like little pops of blue. How fun's that? I thought it was um, quite fun. So they're all DK. Um, so it was like a certain amount of minis for however much. But whether that might be a, a husbandy hat, I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, I've got, I think, um, I don't know, I've got quite a few. A gorgeous new colourway from Gemma at Snuggly Stars. This is called Sax Blue, S-A-X-E. This is a sport weight base. Can you see how gorgeous that looks? I'm super excited about this. I totally love it. It's like a grey blue. I kind of see that with like a neon yellow. Oh, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Um, I should have got maybe got this out on the table, but I was trying to. Oh, I don't know. Right, got these from All Wool that Ends Wool, which is the um, needle things where you're tying off your sleeves. So they're super handy. I've heard they're really good. Um, this is from there as well. All's Wool that Ends Wool. Uh, so I think it's technically supposed to be a needle case, but I think I'm going to keep. I don't know random stuff in it. Um, Sometimes when I'm, I'm doing a lot of colour work, I've got loads of balls um, in the bag. So it could put them in here and then put them in the bag to make it a bit more, less tangly. Um, got some lovely um, snips. That's a dog one. And um, an octopus one. They're from Henny, Pe Henny Penny Mix. Um, got a Yorkshire Yarn Fest needly thing. Um, I do have, oh, these are some stitch markers. I, I did sort out some stuff for a giveaway, but haven't, um, I haven't remembered. But some of these are for giveaway, bits from giveaway. So I've got loads of, um, these cute little stitch markers, a little pineapple, these little gummy bears. They're so cute. A little avocado. Never had an avocado. No appeal. Little gummy bears, um. This one just went with my jumper, so I've got these. So I did have a little bit of a giveaway, so I'll see if I can rustle it up because it's all kind of here. I got some fabulous prints. Um, this craftiness is happiness. Um, these were, I think they were a pound each. Uh, just one more raw. So it, these are from uh, Lena Boo, but I think she had like a big um, wholesale order that she sold on. And Gemma from Struggly Stars clearly bought it. Um, it happens, I like this one. Um, I've got quite a lot of um, big frames. Yarn makes me happy. Um, and I got a crochet one for my friend. 
um, as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Stupid cough is driving me crazy. Uh, right, so what I had done is I... Let's see if I can sort this out. So what I got for the giveaway... So because I've got to 500 subscribers, I thought I would do a giveaway. So what I'm going to do is I got this from um, All's One That Ends Wool, and that is um, a needle gauge you think. So this is going to be my giveaway. Um, the doggy snips. They're hard to see. So the little tiny scissors. Um, I use my ones of these all the time, but um, I'd lost the lid. So um, I decided to get a second pair. So I'll keep the octopus ones and I'll put the dog ones on. So... Look, you take that off. Beep, 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 beep. And then put it on his head. So I'm just going to put that in. So basically, it's kind of tiny, possible things. And I saw that and that. And I was going to put some of the stitch markers in that I just got off um, Woolly Mama. So um, like one of the roses and a few of the teddy bears. Um, those to put in. Um, Sophie kindly gave me a Yorkshire Yarn Fest pin. So I'm going to put that in um, and Gemma from Snuggly Stars gave me a little pack of stitch markers and a little badge. So, um, so yeah, that's not, that's not too bad, is it? And some stitch markers. I might see if I've got a couple of little bits of yarn and things like that too. So yeah, thank you very much for getting me to 500 subscribers. That's really exciting. Um, it's very much a slow build podcast and that's okay. Um... So yeah, that's what's kind of um, going on. That's loads of stuff, uh, loads of stuff, May way more than I intended. But um, it is coming up to um, East Anglia Yarn Fest this coming weekend. Totally desperate to go. Um, turns out my husband's working all weekend. It's Mother's Day as well. So sadly, I have to look after my own children on my own on Mother's Day. Um, so that's not ideal. I like a fuss. Um, normally he works Saturday and has Sunday off like generally 99% of the time that happens um so I was going to see what shift was and see if I can get the kids to go to my parents and get someone to come in and see the dogs but he's working all weekend so it's just not possible um which is a crying shame because there's loads of people there I would love to see um it's my own stupid fault for not being organized enough I suppose so I'm a bit bitter and twisted about that so I can't um I'll have to shake it off before this, the weekend <laughs> um so yeah, um, there is um, Spring into Wool, which is, um, is it Easter weekend? No, it's the first weekend. Weekend, I think it's the first and second of April at Leeds Grammar School. So you can't really not go to it when it's that close to your doorstep. Um, I'm not quite sure who's vended, but it tends, tends to be the same people again. So it tends to be like more of a social gathering, I think, for the Leeds crew. Um, but, you know, always nice to have a, a look around. So... Must sort some childcare out for that. Um, yeah, likely go on the Saturday. I think it's a two-day event, but that's a really, really reasonable event. I think it's really cheap to kind of get in um, because obviously they do vary. Um, I didn't pay for Yarndale last year because I was helping Jen. But I think it was about £18, I heard, to get in, which is lords. Really, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, um, plan is by next one, I have the spin raglan finished. Um, I need to do uh, the hat um, I've got um, some grand plans. I have bought some new patterns, but I've not printed them out. So I don't know if there's any point in me telling you about them. They're by uh, Tiff Nielsen. She had um, a sale recently. So I bought three of her patterns um, and a Jessie May designs one as well, which is um, a colour work crop. I bought one of hers as well. Um, so yeah, that's um, yeah about, about four new garment patterns. Um, I did buy... A couple of yarn shows ago um one from the wool wool shed it's black with like flashes of color in um i would like just like a basic um jumper obviously um dk garment that goes with everything yet has all the colors so that's kind of playing on my mind so i need to kind of think about that um i've obviously got my eye on all of castle view's new moulin rouge um i really like your song which is a purpley one there's a really nice solid green, which I really like, but I'm terribly impatient to wait for pre-orders. But alas, I will have to. And now we are in the middle of March. People are going to start talking about Advent again, aren't they? And I already haven't even dealt dealt with dealt with mine from last year. Um, 
so I maybe need to put some plans into motion um, for them. So I got the Castle View one, the Die Candy one, and the Spectrum one, which is only a 12 day one, technically. Um, so yeah, um, otherwise, uh, life news. Yeah, basically the big, big news is I've gone to college. Um, so that's been strange. Um, speaking of which, I was supposed to do homework today, but I guess I'll do it tomorrow afternoon when I'm back from school. Yeah, so I'm in school kind of twice a week, kind of th two, three times a week. I'm with reception, so that that's the first year into school. So they're four, five year olds, which seems incredibly small. Some of them are like, oh, they're just so little. <laughs> Um, but they're lush, they're totally lush. They're like, I like your earrings, I like your earrings, I like your shoes, I like your dress, I like this. And I went in the other day without my hairband on, my trusty hairband, and they're like, have you had your hair cut? And I was like, no, I've just washed it. Like, it looks different. They miss nothing. Um, but yeah, they're super cute. Um, and it's really clever to kind of see how it all, all works and how they're all learning and things like that. So yeah, I'm really enjoying it, actually. I'm not loving doing homework, if I'm honest. Um, I did it on health and safety this week, so... We did a good chunk of it in the class and then I stayed back after on the snowy, snowy day. We've had crazy snow in the last week. It was it was the thir Thursday, so it was quite snowy. Um, the school was closed on Friday because the snow was so bad in Leeds, which is crazy. Um, so I need to have a little look at that. Um, but it's kind of all health and safety things. Um, and I kind of just felt a bit off topic, but I, I felt so kind of privileged to... Not privileged, that's not the right word. But crazy when we talk about health and safety and like I follow so many people on Instagram that live in America and they haven't a deal with gun safety in school and like it wasn't even mentioned. Well maybe it was like if there was an intruder but at no point it was directly like it just kind of made me feel bad um, and like scared that what the teachers would have to deal with in America and, and like what the kids would have to do. Oh just... It kind of made me do this in class. And obviously these are all new people that I don't know. So I couldn't um, just randomly offload um, to people I don't know. Um, like you people. Yeah. So yeah, it made me a bit. So yeah, that's a lovely positive note, isn't it, Rachel? Well done. Um, yes, yeah, so that's about all I've got to say. I'm just about to spin some washing. I have some run and fly dungarees, which are red tartan, um, which are super duper cool. And they were very festive. But um, I've dyed them purple. Um, I've seen this on some of the run and fly um, groups on Facebook and they look awesome. They're, they're basically obviously tartan, but like a toned down version. Um, and I'm not normally bothered about being torn up. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to see how they come out. So I hope that's worked. And um, I've sold a couple of pairs of run and flies lately. I'm just, um, and then got the bigger sizes. Um, the rabbit ones, I had some rabbit ones and they were just too, they were just too small. Um so um I sold them and then they actually were released, re-released that day because they kind of come and then they go and you can't get them. So I've got two pairs coming, hopefully um tomorrow, um, which just are in a size that fit, shall we say. So that'll be good, so that'll be exciting. Uh looking forward to those. Um yeah, that's kind of all what we've got going on. Really, I've been trying to do a bit of housework here and there in terms of the gardens looking a bit beautiful. We've got uh, the patio done, we've got some new furniture, some pretty lights. I can't wait to, for it to warm up and be able to sit out there and have a knit and a read. Um, still reading furiously audiobooks all the time, reading all the time. Um, mainly kind of romance, basically, if we're going to call it that. Yeah, there's... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like it each to their own um but yeah if you want to enter the um giveaway duh, um what um what shall i ask of you um if you would like to put in the comments below um if you'll be a subscriber that would be nice because it's a subscriber giveaway um like like the video and all of that jazz um could you tell me which is the best ever show you have been to or if you've not maybe been to one one that you would really, really like to go to, um, interested in the terms of um, feeling bitter about uh, this East Anglia. Anglia, I struggle with that word. Yeah, tell me which is the the best show you've ever been to. Um, I think one of my EYF ones are going to have to be the Edinburgh ones. They were just so special. Um, and whilst it probably wasn't the best venue because it was squished, it was hot, 
the prices of the yarn were much higher than kind of everywhere else. Um, but th there was such a huge international vibe from all of my American friends and Canadian friends all came over and I got to see them all and hang out with them all. And nothing's kind of been created like that again. Um, yeah, so it was a huge draw because Scotland's such a kind of special, pretty historic places, place that I guess Americans dig. <laughs> Um, oh, baby's walking off. Her birthday in two days, Wilma's going to be one. Um, she'll have seen a bird. Um, yeah, so I'd probably say EYF, probably the last EYF was the best one. Um, got to room with my roomie Carly. Um, got to see loads of my friends. And at night we did the Curly, even though we were knackered, we, got the, we did the Curly. Um, yeah, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. Um, I do, I do miss it. Um, but they just dropped off the planet, so I don't know what's happening. Right, so if you want to comment on this little giveaway, then feel free. I'm gonna I'll find some yarn of some description to put in. Um, but yeah, this one, the dog one, the stitchy thing, the pin, little stitch markers, and then some of these cute little um, cute little bear things. And then I'm just, I'll rustle something else up that's pretty. I've probably got a bag or something too as well. I've got all sorts more is more right so thank you very much for joining me goodness i talk fast breathe rachel right i've now got um 20 minutes before pick up to pack all this up okay thank you very much for joining me please like and subscribe and we'll try and get these numbers up and these likes up and a nice bit of interaction um but yeah let me know let me know if you'd like to join in the giveaway um i'll post it on instagram as well um once this has kind of been on youtube for a couple of days um just that seems to be how it goes doesn't it right so yeah i think that's everything yes bear with right sorry brain's gone a bit scattered there and now she's woofing goodbye thank you very much for joining me